Kyle Field in College Station getting ready for Oklahoma State in Texas A&M. The Cowboys trying to win here for the first time since 1983 when OSU won 34-15 to in this stadium. Pegram steps into it and launches the kickoff. It's a wobbly kick angling toward the near sideline. And it manages to cut the corner into the end zone and goes through the sideline boundary. Two tight ends out of the offset eye. Fields under center. Woods comes in motion to the near side. It's a handoff to Bell on the near side. Gets the first down to the 30 and charges forward up to the 32-yard line. Cowboys second and six from their own 48. Out of the offset eye. Fields under center. Hands it off on a draw play to Tatum. Bell big holds to the 45 to the 40 to the 35 and finally wrestled down at the 34-yard line. An 18-yard gain before strong safety. Ronald Jones made the tackle. First and 10 from the 21. Fields fakes the pitch. Rolls out to the near side. Points down the field. Now throws it down the field. It's caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Rashawn Woods made the catch then dove into the end zone and the Cowboys drive 80 yards to the end zone on the first drive. Luke Phillips on for the point after attempt. Sky Rylett will hold, but Jacob Dressen snapping. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way. It's high and long, and it's good. The Cowboys with 10.44 left to play in the first quarter lead Texas A&M 7-0. Third and three, A&M from its own 27. Joseph and Farmer now in the backfield out of the eye. Wide receivers left and right. Now Van Zant goes in motion to the far side, and McNeil gets the snap. Drops back, wants the throw, and he's sacked at the 20-yard line. Great defensive play by Paget McGee, who came charging in from his linebacker position. It's a seven-yard loss, and it's three plays and out again. And as we said in the pregame, Tom, the Cowboys, about 42% of their opponent's first possess- first quarter possessions have resulted in three plays and out. Now trips, three receivers to the far side. Fields gets a snap, throws it to Gabe Lindsay on a screen, far side to the 40, 45, has a first down to midfield, and brought down to the 48-yard line of Texas A&M. It's a 15-yard gain before Jackson Appel made the tackle. Fields under center, barking out the signals. Willis shifts to his left. It's a handoff to Bell, running off the right side. Big hole to the 35, 30, 25, 20, down the near sideline. 10, 5, pistols firing. Touchdown, Tatum Bell, 40 yards. What a great call. What a great call. Maybe they were thinking along everybody else, including myself. Hey, they're going to go for one yard, a counter. You got so many men committed to the line of scrimmage on that counter. Once Bell hit air, it was a foot race, and he's going to win all those. The Cowboys turn down the base hit and go for the home run again. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way. It's high and long, and it's good. Five minutes and 30 seconds left to play in the first quarter, and Oklahoma State has scored on its first two possessions, moving 64 yards on its second possession for a 14-0 lead at Texas A&M. First and 10 from the Cowboy 41. One back set. Lewis is to his right. McNeil runs the option, hands it off to Lewis, straight ahead to the 35, to the 30, breaks a tackle to the 25, to the 20, and finally brought down at the 19-yard line by Greg Richmond, who came up from behind, but not after Courtney Lewis, the redshirt freshman, picked up 22 yards and a Texas A&M first down. 35-yard field goal attempt for Pegram. With the wind at his back from the near hash mark, he'll have to slice it a bit from left to right. Right-footed kicker. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way. It's partially blocked. It's headed toward the goal post, and it's no good. Wide right. It was Greg Richmond who got a hand on the field goal. You could see that the trajectory was altered, and the Cowboy defense holds again, Tom. One back set now with Derek Farmer to McNeil's left. He gets the shotgun snap, drops back under pressure. He's hit and sacked at the 40-yard line. It was Paul Duran who came charging in on that play, helped by Vernon Grant, the safety. The third Cowboys sack today. It's a big loss on the play. A loss of 12 yards, and A&M will face a fourth and long from the Cowboy 40, a fourth and 25. Second and three, Oklahoma State from its own 18. Out of the offset eye, pair of receivers to the near side. Fields pitches it to Bell, running on the far side to the 20, back toward the middle to the 25, has the first down, and runs up to the 29-yard line, gaining 11 yards on that carry as Tatum Bell moves closer not only to the 100 yard mark but the 1000 yard mark Fields hands it off on a counter to Bell fumbles a football it's loose at the 28 and Texas A&M is recovered A&M will have it first and 10 from the Cowboy 27 out of the eye now 
with Joseph and Lewis at fullback and tailback. And McNeil fakes a handoff, drops back to pass, wants to throw, throws it toward the end zone, and it's intercepted! Intercepted on the near sideline by Derrick Williams to the 15, to the 20, back toward the center of the field to the 25, and he's wrestled down to the 28-yard line, and Derrick Williams has done it again, his fifth interception of the year, and it shifts the momentum back to the Cowboys. And again, that was an uh, underthrown pass by McNeil, throwing it to the flag. It looked like the receiver had him, beat, at least had a good an angle, had a good inside position, but the ball hung up there and allowed Derrick Williams to break on it, get inside it, and take it back. Seymour Shaw now in at tailback out of the offset eye with Tim Burrow, the fullback, on first and ten. Fields fakes a handoff, drops back, sets up, throws it deep down the field for Rashawn Woods. He makes the catch inside the 15 and wrestled down at the 11-yard line by Byron Jones. It's a 34-yard gain, and the Cowboys will have a first and ten from the A&M 11. 425 left to play, second quarter. Oklahoma State leads 14-0 at Texas A&M with a first and goal from the one. Three tight ends, Fields under center, gets the snap, hands it off on a counterplay to Bell, and he walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Cowboys! The second touchdown of the day for Tatum Bell, and the Cowboys take a three-touchdown lead. The counter, they have not stopped yet, and they haven't done it with Tatum Bell. That counter is just to get that defense to lean. Lean a little bit on the first move, counter back against the move, and they're not quick enough to come back and and uh, really regenerate any kind of push upfield. And Tatum Bell had an easy, easy walk in for the score. First half comes to a close. The Cowboys with a 21-0 lead over Texas A&M. 9.56 left in the third. Cowboys up 21-0 with a first and 10 from their own 28. Fields under center with a one-back set. Hands it off to Bell. Cuts toward the outside with a block in front. 30, 35, 40. Down the near sideline. 45, 50. And he's finally wrestled out of bounds in Texas A&M territory at the 45-yard line after a 27-yard gain by Tatum Bell as Ronald Jones may have been the last man that had a chance to stop him. Dewan Woods split to the near side. Rashawn Woods to the far side. One-back set with Tatum Bell. First and 10 from the A&M 45. Fields fakes a handoff, drops back to pass, has time, throws it deep down the uh -oh. far side, man wide open, Rashawn Woods makes a catch at the 10, at the 5, pistols firing, touchdown Cowboys! 45 yards on the scoring strike from Fields to Woods. And the Cowboys got a break that time because it was Byron Jones who came up on the play fake, said uh-uh, he's going to go run by me, then slipped down as he tried to recover, that was an easy one, all Rashawn had to do was catch it and waltz into the end zone. Luke Phillips on for the point after, trying to make it 28 to nothing. Snap high, ball down, kick on the way, it's high and long, and it's good. So with 9 minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the third quarter, Oklahoma State, ranked 18th in America, has opened up a 28 to nothing lead at Texas A&M. Fields in the shotgun with Marinci to his left on third and 11. Fields gets a snap, here comes the blitz, sets up, throws far side, it's caught by DeJuan Woods to the 20, and down the far sideline to the 18-yard line. He picks up 17 yards, and an Oklahoma State first down before Sean Weston drove him out of bounds. 22-yard field goal attempt. Sky Rylett will hold. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way. It's high and long, and it's good. Luke Phillips has never missed from inside 39 yards. He's made all 23 of his career attempts from inside 39, and the Cowboys with a minute 27 left to play in the third. Now lead Texas A&M 31 to nothing. Third and 10, A&M from its own 32. McNeil in the shotgun, gets the snap, drops back to pass, has time, now he'll want to run with it, now he flings it deep down the far side, has a man open, and the pass is caught inside the Oklahoma State 15-yard line at the Cowboy 12 by Terrence Murphy, who got behind Darren Williams and comes up with a big reception. Wide receivers left and right, now a man in motion to the far side, Cowboys show the blitz, and here they come, McNeil hands it off on a draw play to Lewis, running toward the end zone, right side, and he's in, touchdown, Texas A&M, a seven-yard touchdown run by Courtney Lewis. From the two, fullback goes in motion to the near side. McNeil gets the snap, drops back to pass, under pressure, and he's hit from behind. The ball comes loose. It's fumbled. The ball still rolling free at the 16-yard line, and who has it? It's recovered at the 18-yard line. Tim Van Zandt finally fell on the loose football, but it goes for a 16, make it a 15-yard loss, rather, setting up a fourth and goal from the 17. From the far hash mark, you'll have to hook it from right to left, with the rain now slowing to a drizzle. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way. It's high and long, and it's good. 
So with seven minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the game, Texas A&M has cut the Oklahoma State lead to 31 to 10. Fourth and two from the A&M 25. Fields pitches it to Bell, running straight ahead. Big hole, 23, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Tatum Bell. Cowboys post a 38-10 victory over Texas A&M, handing the Aggies their worst home loss since 1983 and upping their win streak to seven games. It's the longest in-season winning streak for the Cowboys, in my research, since 1945 when the Cowboys went undefeated and won the Sugar Bowl.